The third principle of a sepsis is a basic knowledge that a nursing student should always remember when preparing for an operation and when working during an operation. Since a sepsis means absence of pathogens, these 13 principles of a sepsis should not only be applicable when there is an operation, but should be observed when there is a need to maintain sterility of certain articles and to maintain sterile environment. The 13 principles of a sepsis. Number 1. All articles used in an operation have been sterilized previously. When preparing for the equipment that are to be used in an operation, always remember that equipment are already sterilized and therefore are free from pathogens, so never touch them with your bare hands. Principle of sepsis number two. Only sterile personnel are allowed to touch sterile areas, whereas unsterile personnel are only allowed to touch unsterile areas. The sterile persons only include the doctor, the assistant, the instrument nurse, and the suture nurse. The unsterile persons include the anesthesiologist and the circulating nurse. Number three, if in doubt about the sterility of anything, then consider it and sterile. For example, if you needed to use the hydrochloric acid and if you have seen it as a different color, always remember that hydrochloric acid should always be colorless. And if you have seen it otherwise, and a doubt about its sterility, then consider it as sterile. Number 4. A sterile persons avoid reaching over a sterile area, while sterile persons avoid cleaning over a sterile area. Number 5. Tables are sterile only at table levels. When opening your gown, always remember to keep at least a meter away from the table because when your gown accidentally touches below the table surface level, then your gown will become a sterile. Number 6. Gowns are considered sterile only from the waist, the shoulder level, and from the sleeves. The sterile part are from chest to waist, sleeves that covers from one inch beyond the elbow. The unsterile part of the back portion, shoulder one inch before the elbow of the sleeves, and waist below. Number seven, the edge of anything that encloses the sterile contents are considered unsterile. Never touch the rim of the bottle that contains a sterile content. Consider the rim of the bottle unsterile. Also, Never touch the equipments near the rim of the bottles. And before using the sterile content, pour a little amount to clean the rim of the bottle. Lucky number eight. Sterile persons keep within the sterile area. Number nine. Non-sterile person must keep away from the sterile area. from touching the sterile equipments to prevent contamination. Number 11. Moisture may cause contamination. <laughs> Sweat is moisture and may cause contamination. One, one example of this is the armpit. That's why you should never place your hands under it or near it. Number 12. When bacteria cannot be eliminated from a field, they must be kept to an irreducible minimum. But not the least, number 13. Destruction of integrity of microbial barriers result in contamination. Your sterile gloves bag should never be folded to prevent crease 
and to prevent it from being torn and exposed. In summary, know what is sterile. Know what is unsterile. Keep the two apart. Remedy the contamination immediately.